In this video, we will study about the absolute and relative measures of dispersion and the methods of measuring dispersion, the absolute and relative methods. Now, what is absolute? See, whenever you say the, uh, that the average wage of a group of workers is rupees 400, which means it is expressed in its unit that is the absolute measure but whenever you say that the where the uh, wages of the work or a factory a is 20 percent more than that of factory b in that case it is a relative measure because you are not expressing the wages in its actual units that is rupees whereas you are expressing the wages in the terms of percentages so that is the relative measure so now let's understand when dispersion of series is expressed in terms of the original unit of the series it is called absolute measure of dispersion See, the actual unit of wages is rupees. So whenever you are expressing anything in its original unit, it is called the absolute measure of dispersion. Now, what is relative measure? It expresses the variability of data in terms of some relative value or percentage. If one states that 26% of the people in India are below poverty line, one is referring to the relative variability of data. In such cases, absolute variability is divided by the mean value of the series or percentage of the absolute variability is determined. This measure of dispersion is used when one studies two or more series simultaneously. So, your relative measures of dispersion is also known as coefficient of dispersion. Whenever you need to compare two series, the series might be in rupees, the other series might be in kg. So you want to compare the both series. The units are different. So you need to convert them into the relative measure that is into percentages or some other relative measure in order to compare it. If you have to compare the same units that is rupees with rupees, the unit is same. So you can use the absolute measure in that case. But if you need to compare two different units, you need, then you need to do a relative measures of dispersion. It is also known as the coefficient of dispersion. Now let's study the methods of measuring dispersion. How you can measure the dispersion? See, we have uh, studied absolute measure of dispersion and the relative measure of dispersion. So, the absolute, there are five methods. Number one is range. For relative, it is coefficient of range. You need to find out the coefficient of range. It is quartile deviation 
are also known as interquartile range this is coefficient of quartile deviation the third method is mean deviation that is md and the, this is coefficient of mean deviation the fourth is standard deviation also known as coefficient of standard deviation or coefficient of variation the fifth comes as lorentz curve you cannot find out the relative if you are using lorentz curve so these are the methods of measuring dispersion we will study each method in the coming videos I hope you like our video. Do download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.